Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Madim Ranti Hedonisa. I want to explain about the summary of the article. The title is A Feminist Reading on Sleeping Beauty. This article is written by Shuang Yi, English Literature and Language Review. First, the introduction. This study analyzed the influence of fairy tale on development of children. Because as we know, most of traditional fairy tales are written by male writers and once target on women's moral education. The research from schoolers at home and abroad. Based on the research from the schoolers abroad, the Western feminist movements go along with social revolution. The Western feminist monographs on fairy tales, including feminist fairy tales, a book written by Barbara Walker. Based on the research from schooler at home, the development of feminism in China is much later than Western countries. Thus, the focus in on translation and research on the results of the Western theories or using the established theories. Feminism and fairy tales. Feminism exists not merely as a critical method of literature, but a weapon used by revolutionaries who struggle to make the world a more equal place. Feminists have discovered the patriarchal facts hidden behind seemingly romantic and simple plots of fairy tales. Then, a feminist reading on Sleeping Beauty, based on Grimm and Grimm on 2006. Sleeping Beauty is a specific representative of the passive victim in patriarchy. Other heroines are trapped in traditional convention and only lose their discourse while Sleeping Beauty has been slumbering on her bed for 100 years, losing all her right of action and waiting for her whole heart for her rescuer. However, when the king's son came near to the torn hedge, it was nothing but large and beautiful flowers, which part from each other of their own accord, and let him pass unhurt. The prince does nothing to get to her chamber only because by this time the hundred years had just passed. This, this part shows that men usually get easier life than women. It also shows that women's life depends on men. In other words, women are weak and men are strong. Women do not have power and rights, but men do. Last, the conclusion. In the classic fairy tales, the different rights between men and women are still a common and normal thing in society. With feminism, these differences can be erased and the perspective in society can be changed. Lastly, the equality can be enforceable. The feminism gradually changes this world, become a better place for women from time to time. I think that's all about my presentation. I'm sorry if there were mistakes. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.